What's going on guys, Bo here, welcome to another skilling vlog by me, and today, once again, we are doing a fishing vlog because I have a fair amount of things that I would like to talk about, but the fishing vlogs are probably by far my favourite because literally all I do is just sit back, look at the screens, it takes me half an hour to fish an inventory of fish, probably leading to about 10 kxp per hour, probably slightly higher than that, but you know what I mean, very, very slow, I am not happy when I do it, but before I actually get into this vlog, first thing I want to say is, fight kilns, what are you doing to me today? Right, so, um, of course, I do one fight kill in a day, as you all know, and I was doing that fight kills today, and I was doing it for the same guy, which, well, by saying that, I think you all know what's going to happen, but I got to the boss, first go, I did it in Void, with a unicorn and two brews, I got to the boss, and the boss was on one, one sixteenth of health left, and I hadn't touched, I'd used 11 uni scrolls, and it was on one sixteenth of health left, 11 uni scrolls in Void, for the entire kill, I died! The mages decide to go and, oh, I think there's going to be a load of mages, a thousand technicals pop up, load of mage hits, dropped to 500 HP in literally one second, nothing I could have done, I just died, I was looking at my screen, I was on Skype at the time, and but just before I died, I actually said on Skype, me, these technicals can't understand how good I am, these kilns, mate, dead, calmed completely. So, uh, a bit of a face palm there, but as usual, I do try to get the kill done for the deadline. I mean, I don't give everyone a specific date for the kill, I just say I'll get it done in the next few days. My list is not very long for kills, normally gets done. Sometimes I'll have a huge one, like when I did my 22 build trust, people were just like, okay, I fine, I can trust this guy finally. And I had a couple of, like, uh, if you watched my stream a couple of days ago, I had about 4 build trust. And I've got another 1.5 build trust coming up that was just paid for, like, 20 minutes before I made this vlog. But what I'd like to say is, I go back in again to do it. Oh, my internet just decides to cut out on wave 9. I'm dead. And I also lost my dunge floor as well, because I always, I, I'm on both accounts at the same time, on different worlds, so I'm not multi-logging, don't worry. Even though I am multi-logging, but it's not against the rules, because they're not interacting with each other, research it yourself, it's true, it's not against the rules, and if you want to go and report me, feel free to, because I don't really mind. But, I was on my dunge floor, and I was doing my kill, wave 9, my internet dies, because Virgin Media is just amazing people, definitely don't get it. But, I lost my dunge floor, and it was like three quarters done, and I died on wave 9. So that's just a complete waste of time. Log back in, dead. Depress. Say to myself, right, I was only on wave 9, I can do this again. Same gear, same supplies, got one extra brew this time. Go through the entire waves again. Remember, you have to put into the time I actually have on uh, after school to try and get everything done, which is just too little today, and it was really not friendly. Get to the boss wave, three brews left, a nice unicorn, a couple of crystals ready. All three brews were used before the boss came up twice. I don't think I've ever had the worst technical spells ever. And then when I was trying to source bit health off the boss, I was hitting zeros, well, less than 50 XP. A polypore staff and mage crystals deserve to hit high on a boss. But no, it just hit constant zero, well, less than 50s really. So I couldn't source bit my health back. It was constantly far and what it was literally right. The boss comes up in the middle of one of the walls, right, which is either the east or south or the west wall. It came up. There were three tentacles on the east side, and there were four on the west. Where the hell am I meant to stand? So I'm going to stand at the west, because there was two rangers and a major, so I was protecting from range, to say, because the void has... Ra no, it was two mages and one ranger. <coughs> I was protecting from range, because the void has fairly high mage defense. Call that a bad mistake. I did swap the press halfway, but as soon as I did, the major hit... The ranger hit twice to me, like 200 plus every time. The ranger one is definitely overpowered, but it was very, very annoying. And I used three brews... Before, oh right, the boss came up first time, right, and I was maybe down half a brew already because I was getting the combo down. And then, um, when the boss went down, it was on about seven eighths of health left, something like that. And then, I didn't even see it again. I died. I was just spam clicking brews. There was literally like seven tentacles on this side, and about 57 on the other side. And then one up north, which I ran to. And then when I got to the one up north to kill it to try and get my unicorn to reheal me. Another like three pots up at once. I was just like, what is this? And then I was just there, like, pee him in the guy, like, yep, gonna die again. This is ridiculous. Literally, there was a tentacle everywhere. It was just, look. Look at the amount of yellow dots, look at the amount of white dots here, that's the amount of tentacles that were up, and it was, it was just horrible, I got to the boss, to, technically I just did, um, 37 plus 37 plus 9, 73, no, 83, 83 kill waves, and I still didn't get in the cape, so, kind of feel pretty guilty there, but, um, in a situation like that, when I do not have the time to finish it off, I have to move all the kilns along one day, so if you have bought a kiln lately, I apologise, but you will have to be waiting a bit longer, and that's cape there, mate good name as well, Effigy Craft, I like it. But uh, for those that haven't actually closed the video yet, I didn't actually tell you to, but there's a quick stats update before I actually go into the proper part of this log. Sorry, vlog. But uh, the only change since the last one is Dungeoneering. I believe, my fishing level is the same, I'm pretty sure it was 92 in the last one, it might be 91, but I haven't been fishing much, I've been doing C1 rushes instead of C2 floors because I've been really, I've decided, 
This, I'll talk about this after, I just want to quickly show you the stats and you can close the screen and I'll talk about the rest, but yeah, 106 done, I reckon I'll have 107 on Thursday or Friday possibly, not sure, but um, yeah, go for it, you can now close the screen and I'm going to be fishing, and I spent a lot of tokens upgrading that thing, right, so, first things first, I'm going to quickly cover the double XP weekend again, um, I'm actually not here on Saturday, which kind of sucks, I believe it starts on Friday, so I'm obviously going to start there, I'm doing dungeoneering by the way, I'm going to be logging out while leeching the floors, and I apologise for being talking too fast, I just ate a really nice pizza, I'm not going to lie, and I don't need to say anything about that, because the people who know more about it are going to know, when I was speaking way too fast there, okay, I need to slow down a bit, I apologise, plus if I slow down, the, log, the vlog will be longer, and you won't get annoyed, because you can actually understand what I'm saying, so I apologise for that, look, I have to purposely talk this slow, I don't even know if this is fast talking for you, I have to purposely prevent myself from talking faster than this, just so I can say everything, so there's something wrong with me, I swear, but, yeah, um, I'm doing uh, dungeoneering, I'm going to be logging out in the floors while leeching, and then I will log back in and log back out, and then when the floor is ended, log in, GTE, end the floor, leave the floor, log out, wait till my partner creates the team, log back in, get back in, log out again, literally 2.7 ratio for as long as I like, so it's not really a problem, but the problem is, I'm not here on Saturday, which means this is the first time I could probably have abused the double XP system to keep it high, like, normally when the double XP's out, uh, by the end of the Friday or something, or the Saturday, let's just say I always have a 1.1 ratio before it gets to, like, Sunday or something, I never have, like, I don't waste XP, like, saying, like, I end the double XP with, like, 1.3 XP, I will be this time because I have over another account, which is actually free to play, so we're gonna forget about it, doesn't matter, but this is actually the only account I really play on at the moment, apart from mm, killing the accounts, obviously, but, yeah, uh, I won't be fight, actually, I will be fight killing him, I, no, I won't be doing fight kills for anyone on Friday and Saturday. I will log on multiple accounts, though, just to check. If you are in a 1.1 ratio, I will do it. Otherwise, I'm going to let you do I don't want to, like, do a kill when you're on a 2.7 ratio. That would just be completely illogical, and I don't really want to kind of ruin it. But that means all kills will be delayed by a very long time now. Which means if you paid for the kill, the guy that paid for the kill today, you're watching this video today, your kill's probably going to be like a week today at the rate this is currently going. But that's just to make sure that you get your double XP. If you do, however... I will log on the accounts, don't worry, I've got all the details down, if, you haven't, if you're if you going to change your password to what it is, then I recommend you do it like now, because then if I'm going to log on your account to check if you've done your double XP, if you have done your double XP and it's on 1.1, I will do your kill, if you haven't, I'll log off straight away and then you can go back to whatever the hell you were doing. So, yeah, that's my double XP sorted. Um, and now I'll cover the 10 mil new challenge before getting onto the main topic. Uh, I'd like to apologise for the... I don't know when the next one will be like. I have it edited, but I may need to re-edit it because my brother needs to create a new intro. And what I didn't realise is when I edit the videos, I literally just delete the intro off and then just insert the new one because all he does is change a couple of things in it and it's done. He has to create a completely new one, which means the timing is going to be messed up. Which means I have to move the whole video along, bam, everything is going to unsync. So I'm going to have to re-edit it, I do not know when it will be out, I'm not going to give you any specific times. I expected it to be out today, but he hasn't got the time to do it. But uh, the main reason it happened is because he got hacked on RuneScape by a friend that he has known for, let's just say, way too long. Just, that's all I need to say, multiple years, let's say that. And he got hacked for 500 mil uh, by him, so he quit RuneScape. And he goes on his thing and he deleted all the RuneScape folders he had, which included, unfortunately, the intro to the series. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the story behind it. So, he didn't delete it on purpose. It was accidental. And then he realized when I said, can I have the intro? I mean, he was looking for it. And he said, yep, I think I've deleted it. And I was like, no. So, uh, apologies, but I do not know. I just turned around. There's a whale looking straight at me. So, so that kind of scared me. But I do not know when I will have the episode out. So, please stay tuned. What I am going to do, however, is I am going to possibly start peeking off of live streams. Um, I had a couple of things I wanted to say in that video that I could put in this vlog really because I'm not going to be able to talk about that video. Well, you're not going to hear that because I don't know when the video is going to be out really. So uh, a couple of things that I was going to say in the video is uh, the first one was I may stop recording these off live streams really. At the moment my main motivation in the game is to max out my total levels. I want to have that done before summer. I do set deadlines and I try my best to hit them. I very rarely miss deadlines unless things go wrong obviously like let's say the guys fight killing today was supposed to be done today. I died three times, so let's just not talk. I don't die on kilns often. I have died maybe three times on a kill. One of them, I got hit at 970, fair enough. And the second time, I died in like wave six because the 
range here, like 450 damage in two hits, which is unfair. But I don't die often on kill, and seriously, I'm very, very, very unlucky to that person. Seriously, um, if you're watching this, I don't know if you are, because we're already 10 minutes in and you're probably closed off, but I apologize for the delay. I will get your kill done tomorrow. If I do die three times again, I will force myself to do four attempts, but if I die on the phone... To be fair, he has 96 summon, I was trying to do it with a, a unicorn, and I did it fine, like I said, I was doing it completely fine, and all my supplies left me, and I just died. Let's not talk about it, but I'll just get a yak out, fill the yak with Bruce, so I won't die then. So I'll have that done. So I'll have that done first thing. I actually have a half day tomorrow, so I will have it done around 2 p.m. my time. So you will get your cape. Uh, I do not. Uh, I did actually say I give up when I died, but that's because it was literally a rage. I literally rage quit. I logged off both of my accounts. There was about five minutes of XP waste there, but I was very annoyed. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't die when I do fire capes. I don't die often. I do die. I do die. Make sure you remember that. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Unkillable when I get in the kiln. I know what I'm doing, but things can go wrong. Like the second or third attempt, sorry, went wrong. Tentacles! Sorry. But yeah, I, mean, I do die, so it doesn't happen often. So really, if you do actually like, buy a kiln or a fire cape off, well, not a fire cape, I don't do them, but if you do buy a kiln off me and I die, then seriously, it does. it's rare. It does happen though, and if it happens to you, unlucky. That's all I can say. I mean, it is my fault I die, but if for it to happen to you, because I die rarely, is pretty unlucky. So I apologise in advance if I die and then no one else is killing the counts. But uh, I did take a couple of, I mean, 500 HP. That's not a risk for me. No, fine. I mean, you watch my live stream sometimes. I'm on like literally 50 HP and 10 prayer points killing a jab because I want to use my restoration crystal. There will become a day. I was talking to Harry on Skype about this. There will be a day when I use that restoration crystal. Well, I'm doing that and I die. And everyone will be like, what were you doing? L to heal now. Uh, I am literally, uh, not to like sound lame saying this, I am literally an anti-safer by board. I can't safe in this game. I'm not allowed to have my health above 700 unless I'm click three doses of brew or something. I just can't do it. I don't know why. I have literally, if I'm, if, when I was slain and I was famous, even though Soul Split existed now and I could just re-heal off it, I'd let my health get down to about 300 before I started Soul Split back. But back in like, before Soul Split and I was on my other accounts and stuff like that, I'd always have my health at like 300 or stuff. I just... You may watch my Booty vs. Boss videos, I'm probably always on like maybe 200 HP at points in those. I just, I have to take risks. I mean, risks in this game make it just so much funner. I mean, fine, okay, I can take no risks and I'll never die and everything will go handy dandy and I'll be very happy, but just taking the risks, it makes the game more fun. It comes back to PKing about people always say that I need to eat more in PKing. I can't. Sometimes I'll save. That's normally by mistake or normally because these days a DDS can kill me off 650 HP and it happens too often. And when you die to a Rambo spec, you do get annoyed. You can't really call it skill. I mean, if I did it, I'd probably be calling it skill because I'm dumb. And if someone else did it, they'd be calling it skill. Swap these situations around. If I'm the one getting specced, I just call it what not skill. It's all random generated hits. My tip, I'm probably going to start saving on DDS big time. I see a DDS, my health is going to 900 just so I can... I'd still die. I would still die though. That's my luck. It'd just be like... This guy in Falladia Summit will just do some six-way switch to the max strength gear. <gasps> 500, 450. I'd be like, facial expression just would not change in the slightest. Because I just want to kill myself. It would just be so unfair for that to happen. And it can happen. I mean, I'm not I'm not a fan of Taco Limey. I wasn't subscribed to him, but a raise messaged me on Skype yesterday that he beat the new Dragon Dagger special XP drop-wise. I mean, I watched the video, of course, for his XP... The damage was less than the other one, but that's fine, I mean, all the comments on his last video, I mean, I watched that maybe 10 times, it's pretty good, I loved watching it, but, um, pretty much, uh, many of the things were saying this guy must have been a safer to survive with, like, 930 health, whatever it is, but this time, he got a 598 XP drop, and it was about 800 damage, maybe, something around 800 damage, which means the guy wasn't that safe in that badly, that's why the damage wasn't there, 500, I think it's a 602 XP drop, to kill some off 990 HP, and I kind of, I just completely made that up on the spot, so it's probably wrong, but, yeah, early time, but what I'm trying to say is, uh, if that guy ate one more rock tail, and went to 1030 HP or whatever, I want to see the damage that spec came out with, and I really want to try it, I have practically max strength on my account, I don't know if I can, no, I can't get Goliath gloves, because they're 80 attack, um, I have everything except for a Dragon Defender slash DFS, and the Goliath Gloves, everything else I've got, which means I can probably spec around a 600 XP drop, maybe slightly less. The odds of that are zero, knowing my luck, my, my luck is practically, practically a negative XP drop these days. It's just, I spec them and I take the damage because it's just that bad. Please, Striker, just go away and burn yourself. It's oh my god, I hate them so much. For those that are leaving the video at the bottom, it's these stupid Living Rock Strikers that range you from a mile away and they never stop getting off you. So I have to run all the way. 
And then when I run back, I bet if it attacks me now, oh, oh, mate, Mod Mark, you're going out the window if it does, because of poor coding. It just disappeared. There it is. Don't even bother getting on me. Now the fishing! Oh, I thought the fishing spot had gone. Sorry for shouting, but no! I, I would have refused to have that happen, but yeah. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. Something to do with tackle line. But yeah, I'm not a fan of tackle line. Me, people say he's like the best hybrid. He's not serious. I'm not trying to be. I'm not a hater of him. Let's say that. That's better. But that if you say he's the best hybrid, no, seriously, he was good when he was a room pure. I was a fan of him when he was a room pure. But I'm a fan of everyone when the room pure. I love room pure PK. Even though it's only Mystics and Rune, so fun to watch. I mean, Tesco K uploads his video with like nice 95 defense or whatever defense level. I don't even know what defense level is. Something high. And he does it in Rune and Mystics and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm a fan of that. I, I kind of enjoy it. I love max strength as well, but it gets boring when someone's at full verts and full total refine. The risk's high. The odds are you dying. Zero. Completely boring to watch. Best videos are those one where they whip out mass respect and have godlike switching. I was actually watching uh, a ranging rank 91 scorpion fights. I don't know how you pronounce his proper name, but I'm not a fan of him either. I actually watched his videos. They were well enjoyed. These switches were pretty beast. I mean, I remember him uploading the video a while ago saying that he was RuneScape's fastest switcher. And I watched it and I was like, right, fine, I can switch fastest. And I know a lot of you are going to be like saying that I'm cocky here, but uh, back in my prime when I could actually switch on this game before the bot nuke and all this stuff was added into the game, I could do very, very fast switches. Tesco K is obviously faster than me. But there were comments on that saying Ben and Tes I mean, Boaty and Tesco K are faster. Fair enough. I mean, if I'm getting in compared to Tesco K, I'm happy with that. He would literally. There's a fan right next to me, and if we were having a Brid fight, if I put my hand in the fan, that's about how good I'd do against Tesco K if he was the fan. It's really, it's just me against him, Brid. To be fair, I'd probably break the fan because it's made of plastic. <laughs> but um, what I'm trying to say is, Ben would destroy me in a fight, but the only way I can... I mean, I, I always say this, I don't consider myself a good hybrid. And I know a lot of you just hate it when I say that, but it's just the truth. I won't go into it, but I do consider myself a good switcher at times. You may watch my live streams. I take big switches into the kiln because it's more fun. I take the six-way switches and stuff. And which I can hit these six-way switches in like 0.5 seconds because I'm not lagging like a complete rat. I just go in my inventory and it's just like, everything's wielded. Like, not on the speed of Ram Lady. He's just, let's just not even go there. He's that fast. But I, 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 would, I would definitely consider myself a good switch. You may watch my videos. I'm very good at timing Vengeance. But that's because I'm quick on the keys. Like, I'm here and then, bam, Vengeance. Look, I even got it then. Look at that. You don't have enough... I actually hit it. I mean, I know you've got the screen minimized, but if you actually brought it up, I mean, I just feel free to just quickly rewind it to see that. But I'm really, really, really good at timing vengeances, and that must be something that can tag into me being a fast switcher. I do not know why I'm talking. How did I get sidetracked to this topic? What am I talking about? Something to do with the. Uh, oh, yeah, Tackle Lime getting the high spec. Something to go. How did I get from me dying from a kill because of low HP to me timing vengeances? I just don't even want to know that. So, I'm going to move on to what this. Um, this uh, thing of a GB, what is it called now? Skilling vlog is uh, mainly about, and uh, as you can see by the title, I know you've all been waiting for this, but this is going to be a talk about the 22 build trust that I had, the comments I was receiving, and stuff around that. But for those that don't know, uh, a subscriber, not a friend, a guy I do not know, trusted me with 22 builds to do a fight. And I know a lot of you done this, it's got like 15,000 views on that video as well. But remember, if you get trustrated with a friend, you're not going to take the item simply because it's a trust trade. You don't scam your friends. If you do scam your friends, please unsubscribe, kill yourself, and jump out the highest building you can, and then kill yourself again. That is what I want you to do, and I want you to do it now. But to scam a, a friend is the lowest of the low. I'm just going to say that. You just can't do it. I mean, fine. I mean, you don't know them in real life. It's over a game. You can delete them, and you've got the stuff fine. But uh, by the way, I want to quickly say this now before I forget. What I'm about to say, everything that I'm about to say is what I think is the truth. It, I'm not trying to say this to increase my rep. You may take it that way. People do take it when I talk like this in that way. But I just want to say these points and remember they are the truth, not to increase my rep. And if they do increase, if you are, if you do think that I'm doing it to increase my rep, then I apologize. But I want to say this stuff. And it, I mean, I do it in live streams. And even when I'm commentating it live, I know that it's just um, people are going to be thinking that I'm just doing it to increase my rep. What I'm about to tell you is all the truth, as far as I know. So do not think that I'm saying this just to increase my rep. I have a lot of comments like that, but... Uh, before I get there, there's a couple of things I want to do. One second, I need to load a video up, and this is a great video. Alright guys, so what I want to, uh, for those who aren't actually watching the video, what I want to ask you now is to please just load up the video and look at this, because this is a comment I found on a video 11 months ago, and of course you can read the comment, but this is... Someone who said to me a message, this is on my old channel, this is before I had a thousand subscribers, you can see it's only got 1,960 views. This is my old channel, for those that don't know, I've got like 11,700 subscribers on there. 
and stuff like that. There's loads of videos of me if you want to go watch them. I don't mind, but I mean, I watch some of my old videos and I, I can't stand them. I was a different person back then, seriously. I mean, not like personality wise, just how I comment it. There's a lot of screaming, a lot of shouting. Don't seriously, you'll just you'll just rage quit and never watch my videos again. But this comment here, I actually read this a few things. But this guy, as you can see, he says, "Just promise your fans one thing: never become what all these other kids become when they become caught up in the fame. With your personality and peaking skills, you will become famous, man. Please never change. You're very unique, and that's what a lot of people on ours these days don't have. Again, good luck, mate, Matty G. Now, I don't know who this guy is. Now, this that's completely irrelevant to what I'm saying. But I left the comment exactly how I plan to make to stay with the obviously obviously the reverse smiley face and stuff like that, but, um, that comment is 11 months ago, and for those that have been subscribed to me for, let's just say, since the start, I mean, I started making videos on the 1st of December, so the date today is the 13th of March 2012, I've been making videos since 2010, I could technically say, I did have an old channel, but we're not going to talk about that, because no one knew about it, but let me just pull this back on it, I'll probably bring that back up in a second, but that was a comment from 11 months ago, and if you were subscribed to me in, I believe it was uh, April, Sometime in April, that comment would have been posted, which was... I started my RuneScape videos in March. It was private server videos until early March, and then I got banned off Legacy. I started my RuneScape videos. I don't even think I did start my RuneScape videos then. I think that was my first... I think that was my first ever RuneScape video. I'm not... No, it wasn't. It was my second. My first one was me killing Jab 60 attack and 65 strength, but... Yeah, when I got banned off Legacy on, like, the 17th of March, I went to other private servers and made videos on those before I started RuneScape. Wow. I started RuneScape when I started Spawnscape and started my daily videos. Wow, that brings back so many memories. That's pretty awesome, that, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you just come, I just completely went speechless. I don't even know why. But, yeah, um, that comment on that video telling me just always, like, let me just pull it back up again. Let me bring this back down if you want to click the chat But He's saying this, and Zoro's in there as well because he's a peasant. But uh, all this, I mean, my account obviously back then was not as good as it was. You will be the next big turmoil in Rune Pure. Am I there now? Possibly. This is 11 months ago. Um, have we ever gone in 11 months? I don't even know if this guy is still subscribed to me. If he is, he's watching this video now. If he leaves a comment, you can obviously recognize his name. I reckon he'll probably get top rated just by commenting it. And obviously someone's probably going to go and quickly make a fake account just to try and get a top rated comment. Please just don't do that. Don't waste your life. But that comment, how much of that is true now? I mean... Seriously, I mean, what is all this? Um, have I been caught up in the fame? On some level, definitely. I mean, the old... Right, okay, I know I'm, try I'm trying to say this as truth as usual, as I was saying, but this just came to mind then. I believe some things have changed. As you can see, I'm replying to comments constantly, if I scroll down. You can see I am... Con I reply to comments. Now, I can't reply to all comments anymore because I'm literally... I have so much that I have to do now because of getting more subscribers... I have more to deal with, which means I just don't have time. I mean, I can reply to certain comments, but overall, I will admit right now, I reply to more comments when I have a thousand subscribers than I do now. That's just a fact, because I have way too much to do now that I do not have the time to c reply to every single comment. I was getting maybe 20 comments on a video. I could reply to them easily. Now I get over 100. I can't reply to them all. I can reply to those that are needed, but sometimes I do completely sidetrack. I read all comments. Take home now. I'm going to get this screen back up. I know I know, barely any of you are watching the video, but I don't want to leave it up expecting something to happen, but I do read all comments. I, I, I mean, I spend half my time replying to the, the hate comments because... Uh, I don't like having haters. If there's a hater for a reason, if he specifies a reason, I will like clarify with it, which is why I want to come on to in a minute, something else. Before I get on this trust issue, I mean, I've still not got there, but I mean, you all like long skilling vlogs, so hopefully you're not getting bored. I mean, I don't think I'm boring. I'm trying to cover some points here, but um, I don't even know what I was going to say now. Yeah, uh, because of getting more subscribers, or as that guy would put it, if I want to call it fame, with the uh, inverted comments, if you want to call it that, it's the same thing, really. Uh, I, have, I would definitely say I have changed. You, it's definitely changed me slightly, but that's just because I've become more busy. I think that's the only change that's happened, just the fact that I've become more busy, I don't have time for certain things. Now, that's not saying um, I've become busy, these people helped me out in the past, I now don't care about them because I'm more successful. It's not that. That would be the wrong change. I've definitely not changed. I mean, I've had, when I had like 400 subscribers, I had The Judgment, he had about 2,000. I spoke to him a lot, I've still got him on my friends list. 
NHS, he definitely supported. He had about 8,000 subscribers when I had about 1,000. He helped me out a lot. Still got him on my friends list. Mystical as well. I'm still... One day, Mystical, if you're watching this video, I will overtake your subscribers. And that, when I do that, a video is going up because that's still a goal of mine. When we... Me and Mystical were literally bar on bar subscribers. We were, I, I mean, I was having a secret race to try and keep ahead of him, but then he released like one of his montages and literally blew a thousand subscribers up, and I was just there left behind on a pitiful number. Yeah, I fell behind, but I will overtake you, and I, I'm, uh, I mean, uh, he has a huge project coming up. I'm not going to give any spoilers. It's, it's all I'm going to say. I mean, I know a fair few of you don't like him, but to me, he is definitely a motivation to me. I, I'm still racing him to overtake him and subscribers. We were 3,000 against 4, 3,000 subscribers, and I was racing him from there, and then he was slowly taking ahead, and then I changed channel, so I dropped back a lot, and now I'm catching up once again. So, I mean, I'm on 13,300 of subscribers now. He's on something like 16 plus thousand. I'm pretty sure it's higher than that, but at least that covers it, but I will overtake you, and I'll catch him up. But he's a huge motivation for me to keep pumping out these amazing commentaries. The day I overtake him will be a great day. There are, I mean... For those that um, are like not old, I mean, they've, they've been on YouTube for a while. You remember Excel? He made a video a long, long, long time ago when he overtook Dark Arm Free for subscribers. Now, Dark Arm Free was actually Excel's inspiration to making videos. Now, I'm not saying Mr. Cole is my inspiration to making videos. I've been making videos on YouTube since it, since like people didn't know about it, since 06. I believe I uploaded my first video around 06, 07 on YouTube, so very, very early. And obviously, it was really bad because I was probably about 10 then, but. Um, I did say earlier on in the video that I had another YouTube account that I would talk about. I could say now, it had 12,000 subscribers in 09, which is a lot then. And when I say a lot, I mean this is talking like 100,000 subscribers these days. So, it was a lot of subscribers and I made a lot of PK videos on there. And then the channel got, to, I mean I shared it with my brother, so obviously his videos are on there as well. But, uh, the channel got uh, terminated and it was never seen again. And I only started making videos again in December because I just couldn't be bothered. I mean, I had 12,000 subscribers. It's like losing a channel now with 100,000 subscribers. The first thing you do is make a new one and get people to shout out your channel now. Shout outs like that, I don't mind. If you've lost your channel, like, I know people gave me shout outs when I made a new channel, but um, shout outs I don't like are buying shout outs and stuff like. Um, what I'm trying to say is when you buy a shout out, how I see it, buying shout outs is buying dead subscribers. Um, an example, a good example, W.G. Kino, um, you might not recognize the name, but the guy that made the Wilderness video, the autobiography, he gained about 3,000 subscribers off that, including me. How many people are going to watch his PK commentaries? Literally, maybe 600. So he's going to have some extremely inactive subscribers. I'm, I'm not saying he bought a shout out. I'm saying the video he made was so good, he earned subscribers that aren't going to watch his videos. And that's kind of lame. I really do hate having inactive subscribers. It would suck to have... 300,000 subscribers and get 30,000 views on a video. That would just be so lame. I would actually hate that. That is why I made a, one of the reasons I made a new channel. One of the reasons Ben made a new channel. One of the reasons, yes, I might make a new channel. Active subscribers are the best thing to have. When I made my new channel, I was getting more views per video than subscriber count. That shows activity. I loved it. It was honestly so good. I've said it a lot. Making a new channel was one of the best things I ever did because my subscribers are active. They are, if I want to use the word loyal, they enjoy my videos. I have maybe 10 haters in total. And all of those are anonymous haters. Well, actually, one of them is a hater I know about. But 10 of them are anonymous haters who obviously... And then obviously there's loads of haters out there of me who aren't subscribed to me. Who are the smart people. They don't enjoy my videos. They don't subscribe. Simple as. But, yeah, I mean... I mean, I've got partnership as well. I'm not going to, like... Put that aside. I've definitely, I've got partnership. I've got, I can upload the long videos, which is the main reason I made my new channel. As you can see, 99% of videos on this channel are longer than 15 minutes. So you can see I've stuck by my word and it was the main reason I made a new channel. So I completely got sidetracked there. So I'd like to apologize. I'm going to go back to where I went. When I said that I was saying all this to not increase my rep, I got sidetracked. All that stuff is just other stuff. So that wasn't what I was about to talk about. What I'm about to talk about is trust in this game and how the community is bad. I'm not going to go into this in depth because you've heard it all before and none of you care about it. This is going to be mainly about me and possibly other examples. But people do trust trades with their friends. And like I said, to scam a friend is just low. I mean, I've got um, Carl on my friends list, Dryan. I mean, I lent him 260 mil. He actually admitted to me that he was going to scam me. But then he decided that I was just like... That he enjoyed my videos and um, that I was just like too nice or something like that, and that he just couldn't do it. I mean, fair enough. I mean, the fact that he's admitted he's not gonna, I mean, he was gonna scam me, but now he isn't. I mean, I, don't, I mean, you might be saying not to try and get more money off me, but fair enough. I mean, 
I trust him. I mean, he's not the most trustworthy character, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, he currently owes me 260 mil. And he had said to me that he had all... He was literally 100% chance he was going to scam me. And then he said, he decided he wasn't going to because, I don't know. He has his own reasons. He decided he wasn't going to. That is a friend. I mean, I'm currently 500 mil in debt. And, no, not in debt. Uh, the other way around. They owe me... I'm owed 500 mil across many different accounts that... Uh, at the moment, people do message me quite a lot asking to borrow money. I refuse to keep track of a lot of debts. I, I mean, not debt. I'll just call them debts because it's easier. But I refuse to keep track of loads of people owing me money. I can hold a few, but there are people out there that owe me money that I've completely forgotten about who are now stealing my money. Damn you. But I get a load of friends asking to borrow money. And I see why. I mean, I'm definitely rich in this game. I can't say I'm literally loaded, but I cannot say 3 bill is anywhere near poor. Definitely rich, a lot bigger than anyone's bank here. So, I mean, if, you, if I'm on your friends list and you want to borrow money, you're going to come to someone who has a lot of money, who has some spare. I have a lot of money spare because, I mean, I've got all my Bibles. The only Bible I've got left is Dungeoneering. But they all come to me and ask for money. And because I've got, I'm owed so much money at the moment, I'm not willing to lend any out until I can get that back and start lending it back. Once I get this money back, I'll be much more willing to lend money. I apologise if you're on my friends list and you've asked for money lately. And I, I mean, I've replied to the, all of you the same, and it was probably something like CBA keeping track of so many debts because I'm owed 500 mil. Something along those lines. It's because it's true. I don't want to be keeping track of literally a, a bill or so of money lent out because I'd very slowly be getting it back, and it'd just be, it'd just be lame. So really, I'm probably not going to lend any money until I get not really the majority of that back, but some of it back. Maybe, I mean, I've got, I'm owed, like, seven different people, but getting sidetracked again, so I'm going to quickly move off this topic. Wow, okay, at least my IP doesn't show anymore, that's all right. But, five minutes I was talking for that, and didn't click the screen once, I'm an idiot. But, at least my IP wasn't there, and I didn't have to cut it out, like, in the last Gillian vlog. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to go back on to the trust issue. 22 Bill. Now, remember, what I'm trying to say is, this guy is a subscriber, a guy I do not know, not on my friends list. He is now. I added him because he trusts me. It's always good to have friends you can trust. Simple as that. He was not a friend of me. So literally, this is the same as a guy coming up to me, trading me 22 bill and just saying trust trade. It's exactly the same thing. This is a subscriber trusting me with 22 bill on his account. If you haven't seen the video yet, go on my page. I mean, I hate the new YouTube layout, but it sets a featured video. You can see it. And I know it may look fake because, I mean, it's got comments and you can hear me clicking. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could edit that. But, I mean, it's pretty obvious it's real. There's also a link in the description of me doing the fight kill on his account in the blue pie hat. And then I go in the bank at the end in this pie hat and all that there. But what must it take to trust someone with 22 bill who's not a friend of yours ever? That guy's never been on my friends list before and he trusted me with 22 bill. I mean, fine, I have the YouTube career behind me. I've got my live streaming career behind me. He literally, I mean, I didn't have to live stream that. He could have paid me. I could have not live streamed it. I could have just took everything off. The only proof you would have had was a video by him. And that would be the only proof you had. And obviously, that video probably wouldn't go viral. It could, because people would comment. If I was trying to, if I did scam someone for that much money, obviously, I'd take, like, what's the word? Precautions to try and delete the proof of it. But there's, there's no way you can hide something like that. If, if someone robbed 22 bills, someone else you'd know, people would know about it quickly, like, the only things you could possibly do in that situation is to block his YouTube, obviously, and that's it, he uploads the video, you're blocked, I mean, he can use that, he's blocked the YouTube as more proof that I've scammed him, but just quickly saying, I didn't scam him, and I have no plan, I mean, he might be buying a placeholder cape off me soon, so I'll have a second shot at the, um, with the 22 build trust, so you can, maybe if some of you want to see it, I, I will definitely, I, I was doing a, a fight kill him yesterday with 4 build trust, once again, I mean, my highest trust was previously 1.2 bill, and this was for a fire cape when I had 600 subscribers. Trusting 1.2 bill to a guy with 600 subs subscribers, that's next level. I'm not going to lie, that is next level. But 22 bill is obviously bigger because that's just ridiculous amounts. But yeah, the 1.2 bill. And then I do this guy's 22 bill trust, which is just stupid. Seriously, it was just ridiculous. It was honestly one of the greatest moments. I mean, I remember like that mess, that, that comment on the video that I showed you. I have a comment constantly saying, Boatie, what would you do if you logged on a stakers account and had a party hat set and no bank pin? You would obviously take it. And I said that in the video itself, and I said that really fast. But I finally kind of proved it that I really do not... The, the way I see it, people will leave... Right, okay, let's go over to you now. The comments on that video, there were so many people saying, I don't care, take it, I'm subscribed to you for videos. That's not true. On a video a long time ago, not a long time ago, this is actually a couple of weeks ago, the guy's probably still subscribed to me and he's probably watching this right now. 
Uh, there's a comment and it's top rated saying, I'm not subscribed for your like comments, your videos, I'm subscribed for your personality. And what's my personality? Is it maybe respect, honor, trustworthy, stuff like that. What I'm trying to say is, I have no intention of hacking anyone ever. Example again, right now. The fight kill I was talking about that I was doing today is actually the second of count who as of, of a guy that ragged every single live stream I ever did for a fair few months. And then he stopped ragging me. And I don't know his proper reason. I don't know if he's watching the video. I really don't. But he stopped ragging me. And seriously, so appreciated. I mean, I can deal with raggers. Raggers are out there. If you want a tip, raggers are out there to annoy you. If you get annoyed, they win. If you don't get annoyed, you win. Obviously, they will try harder and harder and harder. I don't know if this is what he was trying. But eventually, he decided to stop. And now, he's on my friends list. And he anti-rags for me. And it is so appreciated. But... He's ragged me. He's caused me annoyance. They cause you annoyance. No doubt about it. You can't hide that. They will cause you annoyance. Raggers will cause you annoyance. But he caused me annoyance in the past. He still trusted me with his account. I mean, fine. It was only about 60 mil. He said it himself. But I mean, for someone to rag you. Now, let's just use an example here. If I got an its account for even a second, it'd be a very, very difficult choice of what to do then. And I don't know if he watches my videos. He leaves comments a lot saying that he really enjoys my videos, but he still rags me because I blocked his YouTube account or something. Now, I blocked his YouTube account because he rags me. So that's kind of that reason. So I don't know what he's talking about there. It's kind of lame. But to get this guy to stop ragging me, he like ragged every live stream of mine ever for a very, very long time. Then he stopped. And it's amazing. Now he, now he anti-rags me, and now he's trusting me with his account. If someone rags you, constantly for like a lifetime and you got on his account what's the first thing you're gonna do and it's gonna be level defense if it's low drop the untradables transfer everything over and yeah i was on his account and i still tried to, I, I mean i failed to kill him twice like three times so it's that kind of sucks that's like bad it like chance really i mean i don't die often like i said but let's just say let's just use the uh, the infamous names if you got on Anne's account what are you gonna do seriously i do not know what i do personally if I have to say this now, it's never going to happen. I mean, he, he knows what he's doing on the game. Seriously, I mean, am I a hater of him? Yeah, I have to say so. On behalf of everyone in the RuneScape community hybrids, I'm definitely a hater of him. But he doesn't annoy me. And he can, oh my god, not again. But I mean, I can put up with him. He's 104 combat now, so he can only attack me at level 6. And obviously, I've given up breeding. So unless he makes a new account, uh, he's no problem for me at all. But for people like Ben or Tesco K, I always refer to him like that. And I said that in a couple of videos. He was like 104 combat. They have to put up with this 24-7. They are literally banned from PKing that these raggers try so hard to get that is something that would suck so hard be having a hater of your videos oh, that's pretty cool having a hater of your videos your level who rags it'd be the worst thing technically if that was the situation you were in you're practically if they're out there constantly banning you from PK well yeah banning you from PK because you can't do anything because they attack you now this isn't this isn't a skill and vlog about raggers this is me trying to put some points across of me getting trusted on someone who's ragged me to death constantly letting me on his account I mean where does this come from seriously I could not trust someone like that let's say I was ragging someone I'm not the person to rag someone I mean I don't bother ragging I mean fair enough I've gone ragging a few times but then I realize it's the biggest waste of time on the planet I can't stand it. It's the most boring thing. Fine, I'm up at East for 15 minutes on an inventory of brews, wasting some guy's time. What they don't realise is they're wasting their own time as well. Unless they consider wasting their time above others. But I mean, if I logged on the game and I wasted a guy, one hour of a guy's time, that's an hour of my time wasted as well. Doesn't matter if you're out there purposely to waste their time, your time's getting wasted. The things you could do in that hour instead is high. But if you have the patience, yeah, you don't want raggers haters of you like i don't know if Ann or it is a hater of me he says he likes my videos the reason he rags me is apparently because i banned him off his banned his youtube but i banned his youtube because he ragged me like i said so i don't know what he's talking about there but fair enough but i've completely just lost track of where i was now but <laughs> yeah um but yeah people like uh ben seriously people what i think is the worst would be max main breeding because everyone your level has the ability to rag everyone has the same stats there's no bonuses to make and then, if I quickly just cover this, like, really quickly, no one wants to hear this, but RuneScape 2006, everyone says it's going to have the same community. It's not going to be as worse, because, actually, it's going to be exactly the same. Well, kind of, you can't just log on the game max and rag people straight away. You have to train to rag people. So if there's people on there, purposely going to train to rag, fair enough, they're there. But I'm going to get off the rag topic now, because I don't want to get there. But back to my trust talking. I was talking about the ragging, but I want to go back to this 22 bill thing. How many people watching this video would trust... Someone they were subscribed to 
with around my subscribers. So let's talk about someone like Mystical. Um, who else has around 13,000 subscribers? Holy Quran? I think he has around that. I don't know that many video makers around these subscribers. Maybe some of the PVM people who don't do PP. How many of you? Theor t t theoretically speaking, would trust them with 22 Bill having never spoke to them before, buying a fight kiln cape off them. Because, in my opinion, that is higher than like a 100 Bill trust trading to a friend. Now, I'm not saying that, like I said, I'm not saying that to increase my rep. That is practically trusting a random person with your bank. And the exact same guy who trusted him with, apparently, traded me a, a white party hat maybe a year ago and accepted the first trade screen. I said to myself, if he accepts this second tr trade screen, I'll give it back. And now that I've trusted, he's trusted me with 22 Bill, I think you can kind of tell I was telling the truth. I didn't tell him that, but that's what I thought to myself. I consider myself the type of person that if you came up to me and just said trust trade and traded me 500 Bill or something like that, I'd just give it back. Why? Fine. I mean, 500 Bill, no one's got that. Someone probably does, but what I'm trying to say is, I mean, that's like 2.5 million in real life. That's a hell of a lot of money, but the way I see it is, it's not my money. That is the only reason... There were so many comments on that video saying, take it, I don't care, your videos will be great, use that 22 bill to do a giveaway. Now, that, those comments I hate. Anyone that says, take money off this guy so that you can do a giveaway that I'm going to have a 1 in 10,000 chance of winning. No. Just, no. 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 Look at that rock tail. It's not happy with you. Look at it. That looks like that thing from Finding Nemo. It actually is! It's got the little light thing! That's awesome. It's not a rock tail, it's whatever that fish is called that, I don't know. I don't even know what it's called, but I see other people's money on this game as if you want to like convert it to in real life currency. This guy trusted me with fifteen thousand. Why did I take it? Simply, it's not mine. That is how I see it, and that is how I see everything. You, my friend, striker, need to kill yourself. I see it as it's not my stuff, and there are people who will reply to this video saying they do exactly the same thing. But there, there are always, you're saying that because. Are you ever going to be in the situation? I mean, if I wasn't in the situation I'm in now, and I was just a, a non-YouTuber, zero subscribers, and a guy trusted 22 builds from one of my favourite YouTube video makers or something like that, and I left a comment saying, I wouldn't take it either. No one's going to believe you. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, put you down or anything. It may be true. There are probably better people out there than me out there, but... I mean, if I come on to another thing, was, was I tempted to take it? Yes. No doubt about it. I was definitely tempted on some level to take it. Anyone would be. There's no point even saying you wouldn't even be the slightest bit tempted. I wasn't like on the verge of like forcing myself not to take it. If I chose to, I didn't have to live stream it. I chose to live stream it because it was such a huge trust. Now, the thing is, people may think that I was like a friend trusting me with 22 bill for more people to trust me, but I've actually got trusted with 4 bill by like another subscriber of mine who's never spoken to me before. And this guy I've never seen before trusted me with 4 bill. Now, 4 bill obviously is nothing compared to 22 bill, but still. To trust me with 4 bill, I couldn't do it. I mean, I've trusted my party hat to a few people, fair enough. To trust a YouTuber with that, to, uh, getting out the fact that some of my friends are YouTubers, is hard. Um, trust is a very, very difficult thing. No one has logged on my account. I've shared accounts for about five years, constantly, mainly with the same guy, who I don't know if he's even subscribed to me or watches my videos anymore. I kind of lost contact with him. Don't talk often to him anymore, but every now and then, I do talk to him, but I've shared accounts for multiple years because I just, I do that. I mean, I put trust in people. Fair enough, I've been hacked a fair few times, but I mean, I'll get over it. I mean, I remember I, I had a Bandos Godsword in my account back when it was 40 mil, practically my bank, and he still had access to the account. I trusted him in that Bandos Godsword, and this is probably back when mills were maybe three quid each or something, so that's about 120 quid worth of mills there, which is equivalent to like 200 and 300, 400 mil now, so probably not the hugest amount, but. Back then, to me, it was my bank. And then I went on some little holiday thing, like some school triplings, PGL, I'm not sure about that. It was honestly so bad. But got back, logged on, and the godsword was gone. And I, the thing is, he didn't delete me. He just said, uh, I was PKing in the BH credit. I PKed a Zamorak godsword, and I didn't know about leaving to bank my items before picking up the items. And he picked it up and died on the penalty. Fair enough. That's your error. Probably wasn't fully your fault, but I mean, if I trusted someone with my account and logged on, the party hat was gone. And he said he lost it PK. Ah, uh, yeah, I probably won't believe that, but yeah, I have never trusted almost famous with anybody except for my brother. My brother does have access to it, but I never will. When I made this account, I said to myself, "I'm not going to let anyone log on this for any reason whatsoever," and that's currently how it's going. 
And the same was with Nathan. He says no one has ever locked on his account. I've now locked on his account and I've done his fight kill. But seriously, I'm sure Nathan trusts me a lot. The fact that subscribers can trust me with that much amount of money, I'm pretty sure my friends can trust me with practically anything. I really don't know, but I mean, I, know, I, I'm, I mean, I think I believe I'm in a really, really good situation at the moment. I have, I've, I forget, I've a bit sidetracked again. I've always been an honor PK, always. I, I mean, I still DM to this day. I mean, I just make series and stop. If I have less than a mil risk, I DM. And I'm, that's why my kill to death on my Wild Slugger helmet is so bad. It's like 1,800 kills to 500 deaths or something, which is only just above, like, a, that's a 3.6 kill to death right there. It would be about a 7 kill to death if I didn't DM people. But the reason I don't DM is because I've got money. I have lots of money in the bank, and I don't care about it. I'm not, I'm not just throwing away money for the sake of it, because I've got it. That's like throwing, like, thing. that's like throwing something in someone's face because they don't have the... I mean, I might die kill myself, DM with a mil risk, and a mil is someone's bank they've spent three months getting. And that's kind of lame seeing it in that way, but I see it as the fact that I have the money, I can give people the respect of a DM for a fight. I, 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 the respect RuneScape used to have on the honor, it's never going to come back ever, regardless of how hard someone tries, however hard I try, however hard anyone tries, respect like that will never come back. And yet I still try to live to it to this day now. By that I mean, I don't carry tabs. I haven't carried a tab in the wilderness since March. I don't DM every fight. I don't PJ people. I very, very rarely rush. The only times I rush is when I'm trying to rush someone who rushed me. Now, you may see this a lot. I'm also rushed if I'm in a very bad mood. Like, I dive constantly for, like, five defenders in ten minutes. That is a bad mood. And that's called rage rushing, where you get anti-rushed. And then when you get anti-rushed, you... That is the moment you quit the game temporarily because you just pissed off completely. It's like doing Slayer and getting a Cal Fights task. You just can't bother with it and just rage quit. Seriously, I think everyone shares that. Unless you don't do no evil, then I think it's easy. But really, I'm getting sidetracked these days. But, yeah, I just think that I'm in a really, really good situation at the moment. I mean, if I just move, like, completely sidetracked myself, like... Uh, I have no intention of stopping making videos anytime soon. I love making videos. I don't enjoy PKing as much as I do, but I definitely love making videos. I mean, I get great feedback on my videos. I, like I said, I don't have many haters. People say I'm like the best commentator, the best video maker, and uh, I see that comment on other people's videos and stuff like that. I mean, it's all down to opinion. If I am your favorite video maker, that's fine by me. I mean, my videos, I try to make them the same, really. And if you enjoyed them that much, that is, that's brilliant. Seriously, as long as you enjoy my videos, I am happy, really. But the situation I am in right now, probably one of the most trustworthy people in the game, and I'm not saying that to increase rep, it's probably true. It probably really is true. I don't know who else could trust someone with 20. To the guy that trusted me with 22 mil, I mean, could he trust any, with, with anyone else? I don't know, but yeah. Probably one of the most trustworthy people in this game. I'm, I'm really not trying to brag or anything. I'm just trying to say this truth. I did say before that I wasn't saying this to increase rep. Trying to say the truth, but yeah, one of the most trustworthy people. I have YouTube partnership. I I technically so technically I make money from playing this game. It's not a lot. I mean, Desecrator covers this, Mystical covers it. I definitely don't get paid a lot, but I was never in it for the money. I mean, I've always I've said this before. The network I am in, the way that they were like better than Machinima was because they offered these sponsorships where you can get paid loads, but it's completely money whoring to the max. If, let's just, I'll, I'll give you an example now. Now, here's two examples of it, really. But I can upload a like a 20 second thing on the start of my videos talking about something random. Like, I think it's like some Hollywood thing going on right now. I mean, that's not it. But I just talk about that and I say, go to this channel and check it out. And for every view I get on that video, I get 0 0.025 cents. No, dollars. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah, 0 point, no, no, 0 0.025 dollars. No, that's wrong. 0 0.025 cents. It's obviously not a lot, but think about that. 10 views is 2 cents, 100 views is 25 cents, 1000 views is, that's wrong, no, all I know is it's, I asked the wrong calculations, but all I know is 10,000 views is $250, that is money whoring to the max, seriously, money whoring to the max cape right there for you desecrate, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not trying to say desecrate is a money whore, I just realised I'm in living rock caverns and you just mine it to the max cape, money whoring to the max, but yeah, uh, like I said, uh, I probably won't ever do those, but I was also thinking of something else with like the ability to do to do them. I mean, I don't know who watches this final videos, but I kind of just thought about this. None of you really are going to check out these things that anyone shouts out. If someone uploads a shout out, maybe a hundred people will go unless offered money. Then loads of people go because they need the money. But I mean, I could upload this on the start of videos, and none of you would really care because it's twenty seconds, and I get paid a ridiculous amount of money for it. 
and none of you care. So, I mean, I could probably do them and really people would not care. But the fact is, I don't want to because I think it would just take, I think I'd change. I think it would change me and YouTube would turn me into a money horn. I am really going into some deep conversation here right now. But, yeah, um, I don't upload them. I know other people do. I mean, you can you probably subscribe to other people who upload these things. I mean, they start a video and they start talking about, oh, hey, I've just seen this new reality TV program or something. And it's pretty good, so if you want to go and check it out, then the link is in the description. And if you click that, go check it out. It's pretty awesome. By doing that, you they, they make a lot of money off those videos. And then there's obviously the click things. I could probably do the click links. The click links I could really probably do, because the only people who would click them would be the ones that don't consider me a money horn, just consider me abusing the YouTube system. I mean, I, I mean, I have the ability to just upload these things and make a load of money from absolutely nothing. The video won't change in the slightest, except for a little 20-second thing on the start. And yet I get paid maybe a hundred times the amount I do now. I mean, I'm, I, I have no plans to do it. But you know what? Post your thoughts on that. What do you think? I mean, I'm not going to use the uh, ever use the view count one because I think that would definitely be abusing subscribers there because they can't choose not to click it. But the click links, the people who wanted to try and like give me more money for like just because they can really, and it's not their money going. It's just YouTube giving me more money for no reason. I could upload that, and then of course you want to just click the link, but I mean, I have no plans of doing it because I don't want to turn it into a money whore at all. By saying that, I may sound like one. I apologise if that is the way you think, but yeah, just post your thoughts on what you think about that. I mean, there's lo I have loads of time people saying um, that they would happily click links uploaded by me just to earn me more money. Well, why is that? Because they enjoy my videos, but what well, I mean, it's kind of like, there's things that I don't like. I mean, I'm sorry that I'm getting into all these deep topics at the moment. I'm probably ruining this vlog, but things I don't like is going on a YouTube video maker and seeing every time in the description, can I have a like for this? How about a like for this? Like and a favourite for this? I don't like it. That's why I don't ask for likes, because it's hypocritical for me to do it. And if I started uploading these links every time they came out, click this, blah, 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 People would definitely get sick of it, and I, I understand that straight away. You would get sick of it. I'm sick of seeing likes and everything in descriptions and stuff. Like, if I was asking for likes on videos, I would have a lot more subscribers than I have now, definitely. Because the more likes you get, the more the more uh, viewers and subscribers you will gain, definitely. With my old channel, when I was doing my Road to a 25 kill streak the first time, I was getting like 500 plus likes on every video, unless it was pretty bad. And my subscribers were rocketing simply because I was getting so many likes and so much traffic, really. But once again, I'm talking about likes. I don't want to go there. Oh, this is horrible. But yeah, um, if you just want to quickly like, put all that together, but what's your thoughts on me? If you ever saw me upload this thing where I'm talking about some 20 second thing, so let's just say you started a video and it's like, what's going on, guys? But yeah, before I start this video, I just want to see you all just go and check out this, um, this new uh, TV program that'll be airing soon. I mean, I watched it yesterday and it's uh, pretty awesome, so I'd, I'd recommend it to you all. And if you go and just click this link in the description, then you can check it out for yourself and just see if you enjoy it. I just sneeze, but if you saw that on my video, you'd know that I'm money hauling straight away. That, that's abusing subscribers in my opinion. If it was a click link, it's different because people can choose them, but either way, like I said, I do not have intentions of using those unless the majority of my, my subscribers really did not care. Remember, it's not your money, it's YouTube just giving me money for no reason, but yeah, I know, I know a lot of you just don't like the sound of that at all. That's fine, I mean, I'm going to get off this topic now because I'm going to put myself in some really deep hole that I really don't want to put myself in. Like, I don't want people to think that I try really hard to not sound like a money hawk because that would suck. But yeah, I mean, this video is 52 minutes long and I know you all love the long scaling box by me, so I'm sure that can redeem the fact that I've probably just gone down the wrong road of talking there. But yeah, I've kind of covered everything I wanted to. I think I got completely sidetracked on the trust issue. I was just trying to say that... Uh, who's trusted, but yeah, back in, I mean, the situation I'm in at the moment, like I said, it's really good, I mean, I've got great friends on the game, I have a, an amazing account, um, I have people daily saying that I make the best videos, that I'm the best commentator, best personality, most respectable, all of those combined sometimes, it's honestly really awesome, that's all I can say, and I am very lucky to be in this situation, I am very grateful to be in this situation, I did just hiccup then, so you don't need to laugh, I do have a cookie dough ice cream next to me that I'm going to eat in a moment, so I apologise if I just made you all jelly, but yeah. Just trying to think of something to I don't want to end this video just by saying, I don't I don't want to end the video like that. I don't like ending videos by saying, like, yep, yeah, it means so much to me, guys. Like, some really emotional voice, you know what I mean? Just leaving it on some really emotional voice, because it's just like, oh, what are you doing? You just want me to feel emotional and favourite your video and stuff like that. I don't want that, so I need to sort of think of something really quickly to think about. So, oh, perfect! Bowie versus Bosses. Who wants to see the return of that? I don't know when I'll be getting it out. 
I do have to monitor, when I do make a series, it does limit me quite a lot. I mean, I have a Rune Society video I need to record for the 15th. And obviously with my series going, I have to literally print screen my bank. And the last time I did that, I deleted the print screen, which sucked. And I'll admit that right now. I had to delete a lot of stuff, seriously. It was horrible, but yeah. But I had to, um, I mean, I have to take a print screen to the bank and I just grab loads of supplies out. And when I'm done, I just sell everything back. And then I check my print screen and just fix everything back in the situation. But yeah. Uh, I think I was saying this at the start, but I got sidetracked. But I might start, sorry, I might start recording my some of my 10 mil new challenge off the series on the live streams. I record the majority of it on live stream, really. But at the moment, uh, I am more motivated to max out in game than to PK. Once I've literally maxed my account out, all I'll be doing is PKing. So I'll try to max out as fast as possible. But it's talking a long time. I mean, 120 dunge is slower than I thought it'd be. Simply because I don't have a permanent key. When my key logs off, I have to get randoms who key 30 minute floors. And it's probably talking around 200k XP an hour max for me at the moment. Uh, which is around 500 hours to get to 120, which is approximately 50 days playing 10 hours a day. So this is probably talking three months to get 120 dunge, which is a lot. I believe I could get 120 dunge in a month because I'd be paying for floors and I'd be getting keyed maybe 400k XP an hour because if the floor was 15 minutes and it gave me maybe 300k XP an hour, but if the floor was 15 minutes or so, I mean, the keys I've got at the moment are amazing. Please don't send me YouTube PM saying that you would like to key for me. Unless you're like Bullseye Owo or Pure 7 Mood. If you're those, then feel free to. But the keys I've got at the moment, they key me sub-18s sub every time. It's so appreciated. They don't even charge me that much. I mean, I've heard that people pay 8 mil to get these for. I would probably pay 8 mil for a sub-14 refund above. But you have to understand that I'm not getting to, I'm not getting a chaotic, I'm getting 120 guns, I can't pay that the way, if I was getting a chaotic, I would happily pay 12 mil for a sub 14 floor, because I get my chaotic so quick, and it costs me 200 mil, but the odds of losing a chaotic is fairly low, but, yeah, um, at the end of 120 guns, by the way, guys, I will be uploading a video of everybody I keep from, including the clan chats, and I'll say which ones are the best, currently, I mean, I use four French chats, and at the end, I'll rank them all, I mean, at the moment, they come in and they all, they literally all ask me for shout outs. I mean, I've, I've, I've turned down so many shout outs. Not, once again, not trying to increase my rep. I've literally turned down so many shout outs. But now, I'm getting offered the ability to have Dungeon Air Floors keyed for me in exchange for a shout out for the Dungeon Clan. I'm not interested in that. I've been offered bills for shout outs. Why would I accept uh, a Dungeon Air shout out if I could have just took this bill and uploaded that shout out and then bought myself 300 floors? Doesn't make sense to me. And I just say that to the same ones. I'm not going to do a Dungeon shout out. But. When I get to 120 dunge or take a break from dunge, I will upload a video saying who I keyed from, everybody, who are the best, and all that stuff. At the moment, the French chats are really disappointing. Now, I don't know if any of the if uh, the French chats are watching this video this far. I highly doubt it, or a member of the French chat possibly. But if you want to pass on the word that I am not happy with the times I'm getting, the French chats. If you want to get your best keys to get, tell them if they want to get their best keys. To, I'm not trying to say this to get fast floors, but if they want to get their best keys together to try and give me a decent impression of the floors, 90% of floors I bought from French chats have gone over 20 minutes, even though they promised sub 20s. So seriously, the French chats are really unreliable. So if you are a member of these French chats, I recommend you tell these French chats that they 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 are keying me bad floors and that they are giving themselves a bad rep. And when I do upload this video saying that I will be ranking the French chats in order, some of them may be in a bad situation simply because they didn't they decided to put some really bad keys in there and obviously key me really bad floors. But yeah. I'm probably gonna win the video there. Not quite an hour, but I'm sure 58 and a half minutes or whatever I get to now would be fantastic. So I haven't left anything in to comment things. The only thing I want you to comment, like I said, is what you think of these click links I upload to make more money. Not trying to sound like a money whore, just leave your comments. If you think I'm going to be a money whore, comment it. I'm not going to block you from YouTube. I'm not going to delete your comment. If you want to turn into a hater because I said that, fair enough. If you want to unsubscribe because I said that, fair enough. I just tried to say something and I'm asking your opinion for it. Simple as. If your opinion is negative, you don't like the sound of it, comment it. That's just all I want. So... I'm just going to end the video on those words. Comment what you think. I'm not going to block you. I'm not going to do anything to you. I want to know your opinion. Not mine, yours. Because your opinion is the best. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And as usual, leave how much XP I killed. This is an hour worth of XP. So you can probably find out how fast you train in the skill. But if this has actually sidetracked you, then yeah. So what I'm going to quickly do now is load up my adventure log. Because I didn't actually forget it a long time ago to see where my adventure log is. And I'll end the video on that. So I'll be back in a second. There's actually more people on than I believe. There's 119,000 people on. 
Bob Boo! Yes, mate, let's buy a Bob Boo! Money horse! Jagged to the many biggest money horse here. Adventure log load! That's well good, that mate! Alright, so my adventure log finally loaded. So there you go, guys, for anyone who was wondering. Um, I have 132 days playtime and 11 hours, which um, still, once again, it's lower than I think it is. I don't know how I've got in the levels I've got in that time, but you have to put in, remember, in that playtime, the time I spent PKing and stuff like that, but to earn my skills, plus do all the videos I've done in that time, that's pretty impressive, but I mean, you can work out my XP per hour from that if you want to and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, I think I'm going to be getting the Master Salvation, no, the Master Reverence, or I think it'd be the best for chinning. I got. I haven't bought anything from that yet. I did sign up like three months late and stuff like that. But um, just some dungeoneering here, 106 dunge, some quests and stuff like that. And there's some people. So congrats to what's your name? I touched you. Oh, that's a good name, that mate. On this and Tochuma, Carl, good quest, that mate. And George 275 on the two bosses over here. It's just a friends list, really. Free to play or something, I don't know. But yeah, um, I'd like to thank you all for watching my skilling vlog. I'm going to end it on the hour. So thanks for watching, guys. And peace.